talking ball. To begin, read the key learning, goal of the activity, and the what you need circles on the left side of the page. This will give you a good idea about what the game is about and how to play it. Refer to the prep box for key pointers on what the game will look like. You'll need one soft ball to play this game. Ask participants to gather around you and introduce the name of the game. This game is called Talking Ball. Start the game by asking the opening questions one at a time. If you saw or heard something that sounded or looked like it was a violation against children's rights, would you feel comfortable reporting it? Who would you report it to? Explain how to play the game by following the steps on the games sheet. Step 1. The activity begins by giving the ball to Team A, who will try to complete 10 passes of the ball between team members to earn a point. Step 2. Team A will try to keep ownership of the ball while Team B will try to intercept the passes. Step 3. Participants can move around the play area only when they are not holding the ball. If they are holding the ball, they cannot take any steps. Step 4. No one is allowed to speak during this activity and a participant cannot pass the ball directly back to the teammate they received it from. Step 5. Be careful. If a team speaks or drops the ball, the ball is given to the other team. Also, if a team intercepts the ball or knocks it out of the air, they get ownership of the ball. Make sure to point out where the boundaries are. Now that you've explained the game, ask if any of the participants have questions. If the game is still unclear, try demonstrating how the game will look with a couple of volunteers. To get people moving, refer to the circle on the top right side of the page and divide the participants accordingly. This game, you'll need to divide the participants into two teams. If you have pinnies, it might be useful to use them to identify who is on which team. Once participants are playing, refer to the watch fours found in the bottom left-hand corner circle. If you can answer yes to these questions, your game is running smoothly. If you answer no, call out freeze and have participants regroup and take a knee stance around you to clarify how to play the game. If you find the game is too easy or too hard, check out the variations found at the bottom of the reverse side of the page, or feel free to create your own variations. To conclude the game, have participants regroup and sit down in a circle with you. Start the discussion by asking the reflect questions one at a time. Reflect questions allow participants to talk about their experience playing the game. Next, ask the connect questions one at a time. Connect questions provide an opportunity for participants to connect what they played in the game to real life experiences. Finally, ask the apply questions one at a time. Apply questions will spark a conversation about strategies they can use in the future in relation to the key learning of the game. The activity is now finished. Great job! You've just led Talking Ball.